Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be painting a colorful floral composition to represent all of the colors that we've been playing with in this color series. So this is the last video of the color series. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, I will leave a link to the playlist down in the description box below, as well as a link to all of the products that I'm using today in this video. So I'm using my size 10 round brush. This is my Princeton Neptune. And then I'm using Arches cold press paper. And then I will list all of the individual colors that I'm using down in the description box below as well. So for this colorful bouquet, I'm gonna start with my pinks and my reds here in the center, and then I'll move out from there. Um, I've got opera rose here. I love this really bright, vibrant pink. And then brilliant pink. This is going to soften it up just a little bit. And then this is a new red on my palette that I'm testing out. It's called Pierrel Red, and it's a really nice, bright, vibrant red. And then this is Brilliant Orange. And then Jaune Brilliant, which is kind of this peach color. I'm gonna add that in over here. And then for my yellow, I'm mixing in a little bit of that orange, but my base is cadmium yellow medium hue. And I'm just gonna paint some little kind of heart shapes here. If you saw my wildflowers video, it's kind of the inspiration behind this flower right here. They're not perfect hearts. I don't want this to look like I'm being really precise. I want it to stay loose. Okay, so now I've got my red, orange, yellow, pink. I'm gonna add in some purple over here and kind of transition to my blue over here.
All right, now we're gonna fill in the gaps with all of the green. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to use what's on my palette, but I'll try and talk you through what I'm mixing here. I've got undersea green. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my pinky peach color. This is shell pink. And then I already had some cadmium yellow mixed in previously. And then I'm just going to start adding in some leaves. I'm starting with my light color, just so I can layer over the top if I need to. While I'm filling these in, if you kind of struggle with where to place leaves, how to layer in flowers, how to pair flowers together, what colors to choose for your compositions. I cover all of that and more in my composition guide watercolor class. It's online and you can take all of the video, watch all the videos at your own pace. And I answer all of those questions to really help you be able to paint compositions on your own and not have to necessarily copy someone else. So it's a great class to check out. I will leave a link down in the description box below. So I've kind of left this empty to fill in some more greens there and I'm trying to decide what I want to put in there. I think, I think I'm just going to add in some leaves and maybe some sprigs, but I'm I'm also thinking I'm going to add in a few berries just to break it up a little bit. And we'll make those pink. But yeah, if you kind of enjoy this format where I'm talking you through what I'm doing, how I'm making decisions, then you will really enjoy that course. You can always email me if you have questions about it. All right, so I'm grabbing Perylene Green, which is this deep, dark green that I love. A little bit of Thalo Green Blue Shade. and then a little bit of this brilliant orange.
All right, now I've got all of my greens in place, so I'm going to go in and finish up some of these details. This flower has dried, so I'm going to add the center, which is going to be Payne's Gray. I don't know why it's called Payne's Gray. Maybe some brands are a little more gray than this one. This one's a little bit more of a blue color. I've painted in some dots. Now I'm going to go in with my detail brush and just kind of connect those to the center. I'm not being careful. I'm not connecting every single dot. I just want the, the look of it. So then I'm also going to do that with these other red flowers. This is still not quite dry enough, so I'm going to wait for this to dry more, and then I'll be back with adding more details.
All right, I'm just about finished with this composition. So if you've been enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my course that teaches you all about composition for watercolor flowers. Thanks again for watching. Bye.